Epidemiology of Malnutrition, Wikipedia Audio There were 795 million undernourished people in the world in 2014, a decrease of 216 million since 1990, despite the fact that the world already produces enough food to feed everyone 7 billion people and could feed more than that 12 billion people. The number of undernourished people in 2010, 2012 and 2014, 2016. According to the FAO, these countries had 5 million or more undernourished people in 2001, 2003 and in 2005, 2007. Note, this table measures undernourishment, as defined by FAO and represents the number of people consuming less than the minimum amount of food energy necessary for the average person to stay in good health while performing light physical activity. It is a conservative indicator that does not take into account the extra needs of people performing extraneous physical activity, nor seasonal variations in food consumption or other sources of variability such as inter-individual differences in energy requirements. Malnutrition and undernourishment are cumulative or average situations, and not the work of a single day's food intake. This table does not represent the number of people who went to bed hungry today. By country The below is a list of countries by percentage of population with undernourishment, as defined by the United Nations World Food Programme and the UN Food and Agriculture Organization in its The State of Food Insecurity in the World 2009 report. Malnutrition rates in Iraq had risen from 19% before the US-led invasion to a national average of 28% four years later. By 2010, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, only 8% were malnourished. According to the Global Hunger Index, South Asia has the highest child malnutrition rate of world's regions. India, a largely vegetarian country and second largest country in the world by population, contributes most number in malnutrition in the region. The 2006 report mentioned that the low status of women in South Asian countries and their lack of nutritional knowledge are important determinants of high prevalence of underweight children in the region and was concerned that South Asia has inadequate feeding and caring practices for young children. 30% children of India are underweight one of the highest rates in the world and nearly double the rate of sub-Saharan Africa. Research on overcoming persistent undernutrition published by the Institute of Development Studies, argues that the CO existence of India as an economic powerhouse and home to one-third of the world's undernourished children reflects a failure of the governance of nutrition, a poor capacity to deliver the right services at the right time to the right populations, an inability to respond to citizens' needs and weak accountability are all features of weak nutrition governance. The research suggests that to make undernutrition history in India the governance of nutrition needs to be strengthened and new research needs to focus on the politics and governance of nutrition. At the current rate of progress the MDG1 target for nutrition will only be reached in 2042 with severe consequences for human well-being and economic growth. Childhood malnutrition is generally thought of as being limited to developing countries, but although most malnutrition occurs there, it is also an ongoing presence in developed nations. For example, in the United States of America, one out of every six children is at risk of hunger. A study, based on 2005-2007 data from the U.S. Census Bureau and the Agriculture Department, shows that an estimated 3.5 million children under the age of five are at risk of hunger in the United States. In developed countries, this persistent hunger problem is not due to lack of food or food programs 
but is largely due to an underutilization of existing programs designed to address the issue, such as food stamps or school meals. Many citizens of rich countries such as the United States of America attach stigmas to food programs or otherwise discourage their use. In the USA, only 60% of those eligible for the food stamp program actually receive benefits. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reported that in 2003, only one out of 200 U.S. households with children became so severely food insecure that any of the children went hungry even once during the year. A substantially larger proportion of these same households had adult members who were hungry at least one day during the year because of their household's inability to afford enough food. Middle East South Asia United States